And new tonight, a new law will give Lansing the ability to overrule local government's clean energy sites policies. And now the TV6 News team has been following the clean energy package since it was introduced in October. And now our Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Blake Ryersham shares how Dickinson County is moving forward under the new law. Clean energy sites have been popping up in Dickinson County. To begin construction on the Groveland Mine Solar Project, Circle Power had to get an approval from Felch, Segola, and Norway Townships. But under a new law, the Michigan Public Service Commission could have overruled ordinances preventing the project from breaking ground. Dickinson County Commissioner Joseph Stevens says the Groveland Mine is an example of local government's ability to handle clean energy ordinances without Lansing's involvement. That was voted on by local townships. The people in those areas had a right to go and discuss what they what they wanted and what they didn't want. They elected these people to make decisions for them. The, the decision was to go forward. That's local control, whether you like it or not. Stevens thinks county cooperation with township and city governments is necessary to understand the impacts of the new law. He says the Dickinson County Board is planning to have a meeting with other local governments early next year. So the counties really have to get together and find out how to deal with this. Our county board has decided uh, after the holidays we're going to get together the cities, the townships. We're going to have a sit down and discuss the what ifs. How do we go forward with this? The Democrats who wrote this new law say it will bolster the Public Service Commission by authorizing it to streamline permitting of utility scale clean energy the same way it can for other sources of energy. Supporters say this will drive billions of dollars of federal and private investment in Michigan, create good paying local jobs and help the state meet its clean energy goals. The new law is set to take effect November 2024. Blake Ryerson, TV6 News, Iron Mountain. Thank you, Blake.